In this video, we will be discussing the solution for the laser problem from the Code Chef Long Challenge March 2020 contest. If you have not read the problem statement, I put the link for this problem in the description below. In this problem, we are given n points in a plane. So in this example, I'm taking n to be equal to 13. The x coordinates for these n points starts from 1 and goes all over to n, which is 13. So the x coordinates are like 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 13. And for every x coordinate from 1 to 13, we are given a y coordinate, which represents the point. So ith point is represented by i comma ai. So for say i equal to 3, we have ai equal to 4. i equal to 5, we have a of 5 equal to 3 and so on. Now a line segment is drawn between every consecutive points. So a line segment is drawn between points a i comma a i and i plus 1 comma a i plus 1. And you can see these line segments drawn over here in dark blue lines. So points having consecutive x coordinates will be connected via a line segment. You are given Q queries and in each query you are given three integers x1, x2 and y. So say if x1 is 1, x2 is 3 and y is 3, we draw a line from 1 comma x1 comma y to x2 comma y. So x com x1 comma y is 1 comma 3 to x2 comma y which is 3 comma 3. So these queries are represented by these red lines. So we will have Q such red lines and every query will be a horizontal line. Now for each query line, we have to return the number of line segments it is intersecting with. So for example, the first red line intersects with one line segment. The second red line intersects with three line segments. First one being this, second one is this and the third one is this. Now a query line is said to be intersecting with a line segment if both of these lines either intersect or touch each other except when the rightmost end point of the line segment of this dark blue line say for this line the rightmost end point is this one if the rightmost point of this dark blue line coincides with the leftmost point of this red line then it is not said to be intersecting and similarly say if there was a line something like this and if the leftmost point of this dark blue line, if it intersects with the rightmost point of this red line, then this is also not said to be intersecting. Otherwise, we say that the line segment intersects this red line. So now let's see how we can solve this problem. Firstly, we need to observe that the queries which are given to us are offline queries, meaning that we can store all these queries beforehand do some processing and then give the results for every query. Secondly, we use something known as coordinate compression. So the range for y coordinates can go up to 10 power 9 as per problem statement. But we know that there are at max only 10 power 5 points as n is less than or equal to 10 power 5. And there are also at max 10 power 5 queries. So on an average, the number of y values which are represented by these points in the plane is in the order of 10 power 5. But the value of these y coordinates can go up to 10 power 9. So what we will be doing is we will be compressing the y values of these points to a new scale such that the maximum y value a point can take is in the order of 10 power 5. The way we do this is by pushing all the y coordinates of these points into an array. So the first point has y coordinate of 2, the second point has y coordinate of 5, the third point has y coordinate of 4, the fourth point has y coordinate of 7 and so on. We do this for all the points which are present on this plane. The size of this array will be roughly 10 power 5. Next what we do is we sort this array. So the array will be something like say if there was point 1 so it will be 1, 2, 4, 5, 7 and so on. So we sort this array and we remove the duplicate elements 
from this array. So say there were two seven over here. We remove the duplicates and we will end up with a sorted array of y values which are unique to each other. And now we iterate upon all these points again. So we come to the first point. We see that the y coordinate is two. So we find the index of this coordinate two in this array, which will be one. So if it is zero indexing, zero, one, two, three. So the first point will now be represented by the index one. The second point, which has a y coordinate of five, will be indexed by three. So we will be replacing the y coordinates, which are represented by this array to its corresponding indices. And we do this for every point in the plane, including the points represented by the queries. So finally, we have a new plane in which the y coordinates go up till only 10 power 5. Now, let's discuss the main algorithm to solve this problem. So we use an algorithm which is known as line sweep. In this algorithm, we have an imaginary horizontal line, which is represented by the yellow line and sweep it all across the plane by moving it towards the positive y direction. So first, this horizontal line will be at y equal to 1. Next, this horizontal line will be at y equal to 2. Then next, y equal to 3 and so on. As we sweep this horizontal line from y equal to 1 towards a positive y direction, we will be processing these line segments and whenever this horizontal line intersects the range queries. So say if this horizontal line is at y is equal to 3, so our query also lies at y equal to 3. Then for this query, we will calculate the answer. Then next when this line is at y equal to 4, we will calculate the answer for this query and so on. So we sort all the queries in the increasing order of y value. Now every line segment has two endpoints. Say for this line segment, this one endpoint and this another endpoint. When the lower endpoint of this line segment coincides this sweep line, then we say that this line segment starts and we insert this line segment for processing. And whenever this sweep line intersects the upper endpoint of this line segment, we delete this line. So initially when the sweep line is at y equal to 1, we insert this line and we insert this line. Next, when the sweep line is at y is equal to 2, we see that this line segment ends over here. So we delete this line segment and insert two more line segments, which is this one due to this endpoint and which is this one due to this endpoint. So currently the sweep line is ready to process these three line segments, this one, this one and this one. Next, the sweep line moves to y is equal to 3. Over here, we can see that a query line is coinciding with this sweep line. So first what we do is we check if any line segments start at the sweep line. So this line segment starts. So I will be adding, I'll be inserting this line segment. Next, after in inserting line segments, I will be calculating the answer for this red line. So this red line currently intersects with only one line that is currently being inserted. So out of all these lines which are marked by light blue color, only one line intersects with this red line. So we will mark the answer for this one as one. Next, once we have calculated the answer for this red line, we delete all the line segments which end at this sweep line, which is this line. So we will be deleting this line. Next, the sweep line moves to y is equal to 4. Here again we see a query line which intersects the sweep line. So we will see first the line segments which start at this sweep line. So we see that this line segment starts. So we will insert this. Next, we will insert this. And finally, we will insert this. Oh, and also we will be inserting this line this horizontal line. This horizontal line has both the vertices on the sweep line. So first we will insert this horizontal line and then once we are done processing, we will also remove it. So first we have 
inserted this line. Now we need to find the answer for this red line. This red line now intersects three light blue lines. This one, this one and this one. Now that we have found the answer for this red line, now we will start deleting line segments which end at y equal to 4. So if we will delete this line and also this horizontal line because this horizontal line also ends at this sweep line. Next the sweep line moves to y equal to 5 and here again we have a query line which intersects y equal to 5. So first we see if we can insert any line segment and we insert this one and then calculate the answer for this red line so which will be 1, 2 and 3 and then finally delete all the line segments which are ending at this sweep line. So we will be deleting this line and this line and we keep doing this process until we finish processing all of the query lines. So in short what we are doing is that we are having a sweep line which runs across from y equal to 1 towards the positive direction of y and every time we first insert all the line segments which begins at the sweep line and then if there is a query line present on the sweep line we calculate the answer for that by checking how many these light blue lines that we have inserted are currently intersecting with the red line and finally we remove all the line segments which end at this sweep line. Now let's see how are we exactly inserting and deleting these line segments and how are we checking the number of line segments which are currently inserted that are in intersecting this red line. So when we insert a line segment we only insert the lower x coordinate. So for this line segment we will in we'll be inserting this x coordinate. For this line segment we will be inserting this x coordinate. For this one this x coordinate and for this line this x coordinate. If this x coordinate is xi we obviously know that the other end of the line segment will be having x coordinate of xi plus 1. We will be having a range query data structure like for example we can use a segmentary or a Fenwick tree which when queried with range L2R returns us the number of points which are currently present from x equal to L to x equal to R. So whenever we insert a line segment we take the lower x coordinate of the line segment and insert it in the segment tree that is at x equal to xi add a point. So I will add 1 in the segment tree or the Fenwick tree for position xi. So say if this x axis which is labeled from 1 to 15 is itself the segment tree. So for this line I will be adding 1 which corresponds to this x coordinate 12. So at x equal to 12 I will be adding 1 for the segment tree. Similarly for this line segment I will be adding 1 to 9 and for this line segment I will be adding 1 to 4 and for this line segment I will be adding 1 to 3 and all this I will be adding to the data structure which I have opted. So if I give a query say from 6 to 13 that is from here to here I have two points which lies from 6 to 13. So I know that I have inserted two line segments whose lower x coordinate are between 6 and 13. And for deleting a line segment I can subtract one at the same x coordinate for which I added one to. Now how do we check the number of light blue lines which intersects this red line. So if the red line is represented by the coordinates x1 comma y to x2 comma y. The number of light blue lines that will be intersecting is the number of points returned by querying the range x1 comma x2 minus 1. 
So this range will return me the number of points whose leftmost x coordinate is between x1 and x2 minus 1. If a line segment has its left x coordinate as xi, definitely its right end points x coordinate will be xi plus 1. And this xi must be between x1 and x2 minus 1. Why? Because then this xi plus 1 will be between x1 plus 1 to x2. Both these xi and xi plus 1 will be within the range of the red line or the query line. And so a query just to this range will give me the number of points which is been currently being processed and which are intersecting this red line. And we can immediately store the answer for that red line. The complexity for this algorithm will be n log n plus q log q. So this is it guys. This is the solution for this problem. See you in my next video.